Carlin says the tree that crashed on Carrollton Avenue yesterday injuring a woman was the third incident involving a live oak in just 24 hours. Mayor Cantrell says the city is home to thousands of very old oaks and maintenance is a huge undertaking, adding she's concerned in taking the situation seriously. Ashlyn Brothers joins us now with more. Well, Lee and Meg, there are a lot of factors in play, including high temperatures, an ongoing drought, and also the massive downpours that we experienced on Monday. The state is seeing a lot of trees shedding limbs, brittle branches breaking off, even uprooting. There's no question about it. All of them are stressed. Some experts are pointing the finger at climate conditions. Arborist Jesse Mudge says every tree is different, and weather can certainly exacerbate the problem, but it may not be the root of it. But the trees aren't getting the care that they need, and that, that's a given fact. He says the urban environment doesn't help. The fact that their cement over most of their root zone. They're growing up against houses and over streets. Arborist Scott Courtright says rain makes the soils swell, providing structural stability and space for the trees to suck up the moisture, allowing for the roots to fatten up. A drought does just the opposite. The moisture goes away, the soils shrink, tightening the space where the roots reside. So the tree itself, uh, the trunk, the main limbs, etc., they shrink, and as they shrink, then uh, we see that in limb failure, uh, that the tissue is very brittle because, again, it loses its elasticity. Stressed trees can attract pests like termites and struggle to produce chemicals that help fight off diseases. They send out pheromones, which are, are smells or hormones, if you will, and those signals, those, those signals go out to insects. Mudge says leaves could start to wilt and curl up. You'll see um, like reddening around the edges, around the margins of the leaves, and eventually it'll lead to um, you know, leaf loss as well. Mayor Latoya Cantrell says the tree that collapsed on Carrollton Avenue Wednesday was inspected by an arborist a month ago and deemed healthy. She says the city is consulting with area experts and continuing to invest in tree canopy infrastructure with plans of planting tens of thousands of new trees. We don't have a choice. We have to examine ways uh, that we can further mitigate and adapt to the climate that has already changed. Experts say trees don't have enough time to absorb spotty storms that dump a bunch of water on trees, a lot of it runoff rain. And flooding and high winds open up opportunities for erosion. They say we need a slow, saturating rain. Mudge says water your trees. They need at least an inch of water per week. He says make sure your trees are properly pruned on a regular basis, clean out any deadwood, and if you notice a disease and decay, get the tree treated first thing. If it's not dealt with until limbs are falling out of the tree, then there's not too much we can do at that point. I'm next. Now, if you'll remember, a tree came crashing down on a teen in Jackson Square in July. The attorney for that teen's family says that he was recently moved to a longer-term care facility in Texas. Lee.